Hello everybody and welcome to another quick shader graph tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to look at this portal shader. Wiggly and all. Let me show you the, um, the parameters that you can change. Uh, you can change the refraction power. You can change the scale of the noise and the throw strength. So let me just jump to the shader and explain what's going on. Obviously the first thing you need is to set the surface to transparent in order for the uh, scene color to get everything behind this object um, and then you have the scene color and we are gonna unwrap it based on the screen position um, all good now this offset is what makes this um, shader like uh, wiggly stuff right or well, refraction stuff um, and I'm gonna start by just uh, a, a gradient noise, a normal gradient noise, which goes um, a parameter for the scale. It goes to a node of normal to height. Um, and then I use a normal strength node with another parameter. And then I connect that to the offset. Um, now you can connect a twirl node to the UV of the gradient noise to have this twirl and then um, a parameter for the strength and then the offset is going to be time multiplied by the speed of the texture that you want. And um, you can see that I did uh, connect this to the emission and made the albedo dark or black uh, and that's because um, when you do this uh, then you will see Uh, the shadows through this object uh, and uh, well this is just a kind of a, a workaround which is having the the surface to be black and use the emission instead um, obviously don't forget to check uh, the uh, opaque texture for your settings of the lightweight lightweight render pipeline so um, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Consider to hit the subscribe button and have a nice one.